Hi, thrifty friends. It's Laura. I hope you're all doing well. Um, we're hanging in here. We're staying isolated from everybody. I did make a trip to town for groceries on Sunday, but kept my distance and made it quick and got in and got out. And um, But the kids and I are doing good because uh, the weather's getting better. It's been sunny outside today and... Um, the kids and I have been outside all day long. I am dry as a bone, so don't mind. I'm just drinking water out of my, my nice new Melmac cup. Um, yeah, we've had fun in the sun today. The kids are toast. I think I am too. I don't think I'll be long out of bed tonight. But anyway, the story goes that I have a... a an outdoor access to my apartment. I live down in the basement in my son's house and um, I use it a lot in the summer, but it's too cold to use it, utilize it in the winter. Well, last fall I had a couple of hauls that I intended to uh, film outside and I never got around to it. So those have been sitting there just inside that door since last fall. So it dawned on me, hey, I can do a video and show this haul. So to start off with, I don't know if I can get this all in the frame. Isn't that a beautiful basket? I love it, love it, love it. I got a thing for baskets these days. So I think this haul was a fill a basket for $5 at the op shop in Arn Prior. Because, uh, yeah, that's kind of what I'm remembering. So I'll start off with this gorgeous little demi tasse cup and I did have time to do a bit of research on some of these things this is Phoenix Ware, and I do have a bit of a weakness for Phoenix Ware. and look at that handle is that scream art deco so I did uh, I did look up if I had the cup and saucer uh, it was selling at that time on um, on eBay for $37 uh, but I did not find the name of this pattern. So um, I'll just keep it. I just love it. It'll just go on my, on my home decor type shelves there. Okay, so this is Creamer and Sugar, Alfred Meeking, Hereford. And I always kind of liked it. That's coming off gray, but it's really quite a nice uh, greeny pattern. I like that floral on there and it's on both sides of the creamer and they're good size creamer and sugar and I already have four um, cups and saucers in this pattern so and it's in excellent condition like there's it, I don't know if it was ever used there's no chips there's no scratches no nothing so I have seen this pattern quite a bit over the years when I was working at the Sally and I always liked it, so I thought, yeah, maybe I'll just pick up a few pieces to enjoy. So I got those. I've got a little bitty Pyrex, Corningware Pyrex. I always get those mixed up. Corningware, right? Uh, yes, Corningware. And what is this called? Did I write it down? Oh, here it is. Uh, blue ribbon flower basket. That's pretty self-evident. <laughs> so this wouldn't have been at the op shop because that's the pricing for another another spot that I shop at. So I doubt if I paid three dollars for it. I, uh, they usually have like if something's blue this week, it's uh, it's half price. So I suspect I probably got it for a dollar fifty. You know what? I picked these up and I do sell them in my booth, but I have never come across a lid. I've never found one of these small lids. And I always look whenever I'm in a thrift store. I go through the lids. So what else have we got? I grabbed this. Danny Boy, the legend of the ballad, the beloved Irish ballad. Um, my mother... This was her favorite song, and she had the most amazing Welsh soprano voice. And so I just, when I saw it, I thought, oh, I gotta have a, 
it'll be like a little visit with my mom as I read this. So I think I'll enjoy this. And it's brand spanking new. I don't even think anybody's even cracked the spine. It's absolutely in perfect condition. So that'll be for some light summer reading. And these, I'm so cool. I'm so glad I got these. This is a little pack of postcards. And there's three or four different styles. But they're funny. They're cute. Look at her doing her cheerleading routine with the cat helping her. That's Fred. <laughs> we just have to change her hair to gray and it would be me and Fred. <laughs> Cheer up. Have faith. Uh, something about the road taking a detour. And when you put faith into actions, the results are sweet. So I am going to just sit down and get out my address book. And I'm going to send some of these to some of my friends right now, especially some of my friends from my church that I used to go to. Some of the gals who are widowed uh, on their own. I think that just might be a smile for them. So I'm looking forward to getting those sent out. Uh, this is a small um, tablecloth. I was going to say napkin. Isn't that funny? It's not huge. But it is a really nice quality one. I don't know who it's, it doesn't say who it's made by. But it's sort of uh, rubber, plasticky on the inside. So it's waterproof. And then a nice broadcloth on the outside. So uh, that's going to come in handy this summer. Put that there. And then, oh yeah, I grabbed another book. Excuse me, just a minute. I'm drying out. Mm. Oh, I love James Harriet. I've read all his books at least five times and I, um, my father is actually mentioned in one of his books. I can't remember which one it was now, but it was during the war and he was talking with someone on the army base about his favorite footballers. And my father was a semi famous footballer. And he, he mentioned his name in the book. It was pretty cool. So uh, this is the cat story. Somebody's just amalgamated the cat stories from his books. And I think that just will be another fun read. There is some nice um, painting, sort of watercolor. So if I... I really have a hard time with this. Other uh, junk journalers just cut up books willy-nilly. It doesn't bother them at all. I'm a bit of a wuss when it comes to cutting up books. But, you know, I may use the pictures in a junk journal at some point in time. We'll see. Oh, I love this. Look at the, the kitty paws going right across. So cute. Anyway, that's another one that's brand new. It's just gorgeous. So, you know, people get books for gifts, say, and then maybe they didn't really want them. I better watch my time. Oh, I'm good. Um, some crocheted, yeah, crocheted, I think probably these were off of pillowcases, so they can be used in a junk journal, there's two of them, and just in time for gardening season, I've got a new apron, so isn't that pretty, you see all the I love all the different prints. When I first laid eyes on it, I thought, oh, good, I'll just cut that up. But I think I'll wear it. It's got a good, a really good size pocket. And any apron worth its salt has a good size pocket. So, and I'm getting seeds started and things going. So that'll be my gardening apron. And I wondered where this was. <laughs> and this is Fire King. And I never remember. The stuff you eat off of is lusterware, but the stuff you cook in, even though it looks the same, has a different name. And I got the lid for it. So how good is that? And it is in perfect shape. Absolutely perfect. So if anybody knows that name, let me know. I, I know I've listened to uh, Michelle on Thrifting 101. And she's explained the difference between the names of the two, even though they look the same. And this hasn't got a scratch on it. I don't think it's ever been used. So I'll probably sell it. I'll probably sell it. Over there you go. Okay, we're down to the last couple of things. Oh, what's this? This is 
Cave of the Woods, Wisconsin. Huh. Maybe my next project will be kitschy items, kitschy souvenirs of the States. <laughs> do I have a friend in the States who wants to do that? <laughs> I'm filling up with all my kitschy souvenirs of Canada for my Canada Day product project. Maybe I wanted that for, um, for an assemblage or something. Like, turn it around that way. That's kind of cute. You stick a little flower in it. Hmm. And... This, these are iron-on. Oh my gosh. Can you say 1980s? Look at these iron-ons. We used to all have to have sweatshirts, the pullover sweatshirts, with these iron-ons on them. <laughs> so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. It's too, I wish they had a date. Uh, anyways, that's fun. And the last thing. I love this. This was never used. It was probably just hung. 1969. Look at that. It's kind of a burlapy one. Look at that pheasant. That's so cool. I managed a stable once, and in the wintertime, the horses that got fed outside, they'd spill their grain a little bit, and I started noticing this beautiful golden pheasant. He must have got away from somebody, and he was just hanging around cleaning up the stuff that the horses had spilled. So, of course, we called him Phil. <laughs> he was around for probably about six weeks, and then he disappeared. I hope he went home. Anyways, that's what was hanging out at the top of my stairs. So I hope you enjoyed it. And we still have one more box to go of stuff that I don't even remember what it is. So it'll be fun for both of us. Everybody take care and... We'll see you next time. Bye for now.